Hey, Bruce. Yes? Bruce. Yes? What are you doing? I'm beekeeping. Why are you doing that? What do you mean? It's not beekeeping time, it's woodworking time. Oh, okay. Hi, this is Bruce. Okay, what's a fume board? How do you use such a thing? Well, I'll tell you something. A fume board is a simple thing to make, but it can really ramp up your honey production. It's the way you harvest your honey. With this, I can move a lot faster when I'm harvesting my honey. Now, this is today, but the video you're going to see was actually yesterday. It's a little confusing, I know, but bear with me on that. Now, I'll show you real quick how I use this, and or how I'm going to use this, and then you'll see me making them. Stand by here. Okay, to use a fume board, if this box is full of honey, All you gotta do give them just a little bit of smoke to run them down just a little bit. <laughs> you spray the fume board down with a chemical. I like to use Honey Be Gone it doesn't smell as bad as some of them out there. And you simply put it on top. It only takes a couple of minutes and the bees will start roaring. They can't stand the uh, smell of that. And it'll run all these bees down into the lower boxes. So I give it just a minute or two with the chemical on it and the bees will go down and I can pull that honey super right off and there'll be no bees in it or just a couple of bees. So that's how you use it. Now I'll put these girls back because they're, they're not real happy with me right now. Hi, it's Bruce. <laughs> All right, time to do a little woodworking. Now, in a couple of months, we're going to do some honey harvest, and I hope it's a really good crop this year. And in the past, I've always shaken off the bees, shaken the bees off each frame and moved them in. It's that part of the process of harvesting honey is not so much fun. I think that if I had a fume board, it would be a lot faster. So I'm going to make a couple of fume boards today. So fume boards will drive the bees down out of that top box to make your honey, so, honey harvest so much faster and easier. So what you do is you buy a board like this and you split it. So that you have two boards even sized, okay? Now, this was a, a one by eight by four, and by, um, because uh, it's not really four inches, it's three and a half inches, so that is like an inch and a quarter wide. But for my purposes, this should do fine. And there's a few knots in it. You just have to be careful where you uh, placed your fume board. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to cut my fume board to fit 
right on top of a medium super. So the medium super, it should be 19 and 7 eighths long, just to be, have it a little bit wider. Yeah, so 19 and 7 eighths that way, all right? So I'm just gonna build a little frame and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, now I need two boards that are really 14 and three quarter inch. So if I throw this up here for the short sides, And 14 and 3 quarter inch should fit right in the middle, just like that. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay, so I put a little bit of glue on the ends here. Using my little glue bot, you know, um, I love that little thing. And as always, I'm using Type Bond 3, which is the waterproof Type Bond wood glue. Okay, now you notice I've got some pretty good knot holes in this part here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount the top up here and I've got a plan to address that. So anyway, Yeah, pretty good. All right, hang with me for the next step. Okay, so next up, I went to Walmart 
and I bought this felt. So this is um, 54 inches by 72 inches or 137 centimeters by 183 centimeters. And um, this might work all right. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this off. Okay, so this stuff here, this is, um, I think it's quarter inch plywood, real thin stuff. I thought I had some metal flashing that I was gonna use for the tops, but I guess I'm out. <laughs> anyway, this stuff here, you can buy it in Lowe's at Home Depot, but I actually found this on the side of the road as I was driving and um, it drives my beautiful wife crazy, but no matter how I'm dressed, I might be in a suit or whatever, if I happen to see some kind of scrap wood or something that I can use on the side of the road, I'll stop. It doesn't matter if I'm suiting a tie or not. I'll stop and get it. So, just got a little super glue here. Man, it's starting to rain. That's good. We need it. These are um, inch and a half uh, roofing nails.
Okay, so that's that. So, I'll turn you this way so you can see me. All right, so this is essentially done. Um, painted it black. I got some spots I didn't do very well on, but you know, it's not gonna be out in the rain at all. Um, all right, after it's dry, I'll show you how you use these things. <laughs> I probably won't piss off my bees this time, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna have to make another one now. <laughs>